Thousands of fans come to watch the Vols play on Saturdays, although very few, if any, consider all the preparations and behind the scenes work that goes into such a huge event. Roger Frazier heads the equipment staff at the University of Tennessee with assistant managers Max Parrott and Alan Sitzler. Max Parrott became part of the University of Tennessee football staff in 1985. As the assistant manager, his duties include repair of equipment as well as laundering all of the volunteers' gear. Routine is a very important part of the Tennessee football. Okay. Daily day responsibilities, I usually get here about 6, 6.15 in the morning and turn on the lights on the practice field, the indoor field for early morning workouts. The daily routines may be the same, but the role of coaches has altered. There have been multiple coach changes throughout the last years, affecting many players as well as the staff. From Coach Fulmer to Coach Kiffin, and then from Coach Kiffin to Coach Dooley, it was like night and day. To the 10th game or the 11th game with Coach Dooley, we know what his staff wants before a game and for practice. So it's worked out pretty good. You just have to hit the ground running and learn on the fly. The worst thing that could happen is to be unprepared. Has been, it's better to take it and not need it than to not have it and get your rear end chewed out. So if it's not supposed to rain this weekend and we're at Vanderbilt, it's supposed to be beautiful, I'll take the rain gear anyway, just in case something happens. Um, as far as not being prepared, uh, my boss Roger Frazier says in this business you have to learn how to hit a curveball. There are countless things that go on during a football game. The duties of assistant equipment managers are to follow the ball. Parrott says, If you don't see us in the game, that's good. If you see us, somebody's coming to the sideline holding a helmet or their shoes off or something, you know something's gone wrong. So we don't like to see them. I know the managers really well because they are at practice with us every day. You kind of form a bond with them because they see all the things we go through, says University of Tennessee offensive guard Kevin Revis. The job of the equipment manager is very demanding. Max Pear has been on the road for the last 20-something years, causing him to miss family time. He is a humble man, and the football program would not be the same without the strength and dedication Max brings to the University of Tennessee.